Hi and welcome to the 361. This episode is called The Map. Hmm. Stage one. Where am I? Who are you? I think after any loss, the loss of a relationship, the loss of a person in grief, the loss of a marriage and divorce, or maybe the loss of a working relationship when we finally retire. In any loss, I think we feel lost. We're lost girls in Wonderland. And I always say the drugs don't work. It'd be great if they did, but they don't. And so we're lost and we start to think, well, where am I? I, If I'd have known that this was going to happen, I'd have worn better knickers. It's that kind of idea. Where am I after loss? Stage two, unto the white rabbit. So we're the lost girls in Wonderland. And if we're lucky, we get someone nice to come and pick us up. But if we're not lucky, and especially after a divorce or the end of a relationship when we're feeling vulnerable, enter the white rabbit. The white rabbit is very quick. He rushes. It's got to be done really quickly. We have to decide things that should take us years in months, like living together, getting married, owning a house together, buying a dog, buying a car. It's all rush, 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 because we might be late. Now, this is a technique narcissists use. They rush us, but they also see us at our most vulnerable. Oh, those white rabbits. Be careful of them. Hmm. Three. So you've got your white rabbit. Three. The map. We need a map when we're lost, don't we? I think we'd all agree with that. Well, the narcissist rabbit, he's got a map. And it's the map according to him. And so you're very vulnerable. You're feeling lost. And this person seems to know you. They seem to get you. They get you instantly. They get you so much. It can be a man. It can be a female friend. And before you know it, you're with them 24-7. You just have never felt like this before. It's a bit obsessive. It's a bit breathless. It's a friend. It's a lover. And they just know you. And so they start to be your map. They start to help you. You've picked yourself up. You're a bit lost. And now you're using their map to help you Hmm. for the compass so they're on demand 24 7 like a compass they show you the way to go you're navigating your life but you start to get a little bit better and you say the word no or well maybe i think this Uh oh this is where the narcissist starts to be a little less available to you not as much on demand makes you wait because you see you should be living according to their map and their compass they don't like it if you start to think for yourself oh dear they want to think that they own us and this is where it's our fault because we allowed them into our minds we allowed them to control our minds what to do. I'm not judging you. I've done this um, and I've done it quite a few times. Five, find the one. There is absolutely no one that knows you better than yourself. Let me say it again. There is absolutely no one who knows you better than yourself. The 361 recovery programme that I've developed after having a lot of experience with giving my power away and letting people be my map, boyfriends, husbands and best female friends. The 361 Recovery Programme I developed to help you find your own map, to help you find the one. They get ugly, these people, if you start to think for yourself and you start to find your own way. But the 361 helps you to find that first step to find your own way out of this 360, what I call the 360 circle. This, when we're in a relationship, we get out and we find, we get lost, we find another white rabbit. The 361 is going to help you and guide you, hopefully, through to find a new way, to find the one, so you can find your own map, create your own map of where you're going. And maybe feel a little le- less lost. It's coming out Monday and Wednesday at 7pm, followed by a blog. It's also going to be on a podcast, a radio show, online, and there'll be opportunities for life coaching. So from me, Alice, for now, goodbye. Good luck with your maps.